I think it's true that President George W. Bush is the decider, but that his vice president wrote the menu from which he made decisions. And, and, uh, uh, and uh, now you're, you're correct that actually by 2007, I really think Cheney's influence had receded, and we saw that particularly dramatically um, highlighted by uh, Bush's refusal to, to pardon Scooter Libby, which really infuriated Cheney. Uh, but um, but uh, and, and it's and temperamentally, anyone who knows George W. Bush would know that he's not a guy who would sort of uh, quake and deferentially um, uh, uh, have uh, Cheney run the show. However, um, he also is is a, a guy I think who you know it, it has been accurate to to um, characterize uh, Bush as someone whose intellectual curiosity can be very limited on certain subjects and is not very interested in sweating the details of things. And uh, uh, Cheney, as a longtime player uh, in Washington politics, knows that, that the devil is in the details. And, and the things uh, that he got uh, the president to sign off on vis-a-vis -vis torture, uh, I think you know Cheney was relentless at some of this stuff. Now, one thing that has not ever been written about, and I didn't, I, I came to this very late in my research and wasn't able to do anything with it, but I think we'll see in future books on Bush is that um, that he was very he was very conflicted on on the on the matter of torture, and and though he always would um, evince this posture of certitude uh, that that there 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 was in fact some indecision on that particular subject, but I think Cheney was relentless on that. And, uh, and 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 I think relentless on other things too. And so I, I so I don't think it's accurate that, that um, to suggest that Bush deferred to Cheney. But but um, did Cheney get his way more often than not? I think so.